you to kill me there's no point in keeping your silence whoever's paying you you won't get to spend that money Charles Beecher hired me to kill you and Carter nothing personal Carter's dead what are you waiting for Hello, Mr. Black. Good to hear from you. Is everything taken care of? Wrong guess. I'll give you another try. Mr. Rockwell. Good of you to call. Why'd you try to have me killed? The nature of any coup is that it must be swift, absolute, and unhindered by roadblocks. You came to know too much about our organization. Although, I do wonder, Mr. Rockwell, if there's no hard feelings. Now that Mr. Carter is out of the way, my profits will more than double. Would a deal be out of the question? No, that's not how that works. You're a massive organization, millions of dollars. I'm a loose end. I'm gonna stop time tied up nice and neat. You're very astute, Mr. Rockwell. By the end of the day, one of us is gonna be dead. Nothing goes. Is that a threat? You underestimate me once today. Don't make the same mistake twice. Peter, get the car, I think.
Now that they're both gone, there's going to be a vacuum. Capitalism being what it is, someone's going to move in to fill that vacuum. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be there when it happens. The first time I killed a man was on Solomon Islands in 1942. I've killed 87 times since then. I'm good at what I do, I'll be, and I know the area well. I'll be an invaluable resource to whoever comes in. There's always plenty of work to go around during these transitional periods. Well, good luck, I guess. And, uh, keep your head down. <laughs> <laughs> 